Today we're going to be talking about the future of smart home standards and announcing the winner of the Eufy video doorbell, so stay tuned. Merry Christmas Eve, everyone. It is good to be back. I have been out sick for a few weeks now, and that has been a rough one. It's been cycling through the family, but I am now feeling better and back in front of the camera. And I read an article a couple days ago about the standards for smart home technology changing. Now, I don't know if you guys have been as confused with a smart home compatibility as I was when I first started. When you buy a new product, does this work with my current system? Which system do I need? It's all been very confusing because some systems just won't work with other systems. Every time you look at the box of something, you have to look, is it compatible with Amazon? Is it compatible with Google? Does it support HomeKit? Well, in this article I was reading from The Verge, it talks about Amazon, Apple, Google, Zigbee, and SmartThings all coming together to create a new standard in smart home technology. Essentially what this will do is it will allow developers to create one standard format that all of these technologies will be able to communicate with. Right now you're probably having an issue with say Arlo who just announced that some of their cameras are compatible with HomeKit. On the other hand, others aren't. And you may buy another product where it is only compatible with Amazon, but not Google. You just never know with this stuff. What this new standard is trying to put together is a new way of developing technology for the connected home. It is called Project Connected Home over IP. So now instead of you wondering, is this HomeKit compatible? Will it become HomeKit compatible? I know everything promises HomeKit compatibility coming in the future, but I've noticed sometimes it just never seems to come. This is supposed to fix all of that. With Amazon, Apple, Google, everyone coming together, they are all bringing in their own technologies. They are trying to create a standard for developers to use to make all the smart homes talk to each other. Essentially right now, a developer has to develop for each individual platform. So if you're picking up a product, the developer has to do a separate one for Amazon, a separate one for Google, a separate one for HomeKit, a different one for SmartThings, a different one for Zigbee, and it can just get very complicated. And especially if you're on a budget, they may only pick one or two instead of all of them. So I am really happy to see that all of these big companies are coming together to standardize this. This is something that just started happening. They did say in the article that it probably won't have a working model until late 2020. So we're about a year away from that but I am really hoping that this is something that continues to march on and doesn't just fall apart. If you guys are interested in reading the articles, I will link them in the description below, but I thought I'd just talk about some interesting news in the smart home world with you guys today before we get to this giveaway. So I wanna thank everyone who entered in this giveaway. This is for the Eufy video doorbell. This thing is absolutely amazing, 2K. If you have not checked out that video review, I will link it above for you guys to check it out. This is definitely my new favorite video doorbell. So if you guys are looking for something, check this one out. First off, I wanna thank everyone who entered in this giveaway. We had over 130 individual comments on this video. So thank you everyone who participated in that. Now the winner of the Eufy video doorbell is Steven T. Steven, congratulations on winning that. For those of you who did not win, I am planning plenty of giveaway videos in 2020. So make sure you hit that subscribe and notification bell. So that way you're notified when the next video comes out. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good Christmas holiday and I'll see you guys in the next one.